I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at a 2021 38 Den Puma Destination Trailer by Palomino. This is a division of Forest River. This is a triple slide a rear den model. Um, this has the, the new colors. Um, this is the first destination model I've done a video of with the newer colors in it. So I'm going to try to point some of that stuff out. Um, as you can see, there are two entry doors. The front entry door goes to the master bedroom and the sliding door here. Uh, enters into the kitchen area so i'm going to enter in this way i'm actually going to go to the bedroom first but i want to enter in like it would be you know for most of you normally as you use this so you enter in again into the kitchen area and we're going to turn right go down the hallway to our bedroom bathroom so up here in the front this is the master bedroom again there's that entry door we were talking about uh, you can use that to access um, or exit this room so i'm going to slowly go around here and let you see this big bed slide up here head of the bed uh, you got some storage window accent wall uh, some shelving there that puma has done i've really just seen that in the last few pumas i've had a uh, nice shelving there a king size bed that's the screen door for the sliding door we just got this unit in so i haven't had the chance to put it in there yet and then below this is storage i can lift it up for you um there's a big storage area here it's also accessible from the outside if you wanted to uh, use it that way so a nice big storage under the bed at the front so a couple closets here it's pretty standard style you got a hanging rod a shelf above four doors to access that two of, two of which have mirrors so uh, a nice master closet there and to the right uh, we optioned in the washer dryer stack set sometimes we do sometimes we don't if you don't have this, obviously it's just a, another big closet, um, but this one is, is nice having it already in it. A shelf up there and a light, as you can see. So a really nice washer dryer closet. And then this has a second air. So you can see a free blow air conditioner here. The primary air is ducted throughout. There's your two ducts um, in here and it has good flow. I've already turned it on. So um, a, a nice, well-equipped unit as far as air conditioners are concerned. Also notice at the foot of the bed, there's lots of space, um, easy to maneuver, easy to get in and out. Um, some people have mobility issues, you know, there's plenty of room uh, to, to get in and out of this area. Um, so a nice spacious bedroom that way. And then at the foot of the bed, we have a set of drawers, a TV hookup above, there's some outlets there, and then a window also as well. So well-equipped master bedroom. Going back out into that main hallway, to the right, this is our master bath, or the only bath in this particular floor plan. Um, foot flush toilet to the right. Nice shower here. Um, it's got a seat built in. It's got some shelving built in. Of course, a decorative look for a tile look. And then to the left is our uh, pantry. Not our pantry. Our linen closet, excuse me. Mirror and sink. So I'm going to open this pantry up. It's a really nice size in here. Tons of space for your bathroom supplies. And then actually the sink below it, it's got some storage as well down there. So well-equipped bathroom this is that big sliding door that we entered in you do have a curtain here to close it off if you wanted to uh, for privacy or just to keep it cooler in here nice there to the right of that is our main control panel you can pause the video if you want and look at all these different switches that's our controls for our ceiling fan by the way and then here's the kitchen i'm going to just kind of pan and show you this entire area again our second and third slides back here in the back all right so the kitchen area New countertops, um, this is the solid surface. So if you saw in the kitchen, or excuse me, the bathroom or the bedroom, it's a little different color in there. Those are not solid surface. This is a legitimate uh, solid surface countertop. So very, very nice there. It's got some accent lighting built into it, as you can see. Uh, beautiful new white cabinetry, uh, sink, very big stainless steel with two solid sink covers, a nice residential you know, pull out faucet there. It's a big countertop area here, the outlet in the corner. So Maybe this is where you put a pressure cooker, uh, Instapot, air fryer, whatever. You get that area over there, you can do that. More storage above there with some glass inserts. And then in the slide, I've got a huge oven and stove. Definitely more of a residential style. Again, it, this is brand new, so there's still some, some things packed in there. But I want you to see, it, it's very big. Um, I like the stove top. Kind of this, I don't know what material it actually is. I don't know if it's metal or stone, but... It's a very rugged feel to it, <clears throat> durable feeling. Um, we got a little area there to the left of that. You could maybe have some stuff set up there. Uh, storage below. 
microwave and storage above as well. And the refrigerator, huge residential refrigerator. Lots of storage there. And then up top, if I remember right, yeah, it does have an ice maker in it. People always ask that. So ice maker built into that. That's huge. I don't know the exact cubic footage on that, but as you can see, it might list it in there for me. Uh, I don't see it offhand. So shoot me a message and I will get that for you. But regardless, it's big. Nice big residential refrigerator. And then as far as the seating area is concerned, I like this. It's got these two bar stools that are, I don't know what this look is. I'm not really into the uh, all the different fashionable terms, but it's a wood look, kind of a, I guess a farmhouse look, a seat. It is comfortable. I've sat on it. Um, I do like the look of it as well. Obviously, this is a little metal footrest down there for those that are sitting at the booth. And the booth has storage below it that's also accessible from the outside. So, and it's huge as you can see. Uh, above the kitchen table, little accent light, looks neat. Big windows, roller shades on them throughout. And then going back to the back, this is our den. Uh, we have three seating areas. As you can see, before you enter into that, you've got your kitchen storage, you've got a huge pantry with floor to ceiling storage. And then to the left of that, just a more generic, classic storage area. So there's a lot of storage here um, as we're going back to our den. And as far as the den is concerned, again, three seating areas, two trifold sofas, that's an option. And then we optioned in the theater seats as well. So if you do have family uh, or friends that come stay with you, you have trifold sofas on both sides here that they can sleep on there. At the back, the entertainment center, um, we've got a fireplace, a stone look around that, lots of storage around it, two big windows, big TV, ceiling fan up here, make it even feel more residential. I mean, both the slides, again, trifold sofas, windows, storage, lights, roller shades, theater seats directly across from the TV so it's easy uh, to sit there and watch TV. One more thing of note, no carpet on the main floor, only a little bit of carpet um, in the slides, but the entire main floor from the bedroom to the uh, living room here is, car is uh, excuse me, uh, vinyl flooring, so easy to keep clean. That's looking back toward our kitchen. And there's our ducted air, 15,000 BTU ducted air throughout the unit. All right, so we're gonna go back outside, look at some features there. Uh, one thing that even ourselves as a dealership, we go back and forth on is the awning. Uh, this one we did option with an awning. Sometimes people don't want it if they're gonna build a big uh, porch on it. Regardless, this has an awning on it. That's an option that we chose to get on this one. Uh, good tent on the windows, trying to keep it cooler. Obviously with a larger unit, we're trying to do anything we can um, to keep it cooler. So Puma does do the dark tent. Uh, the front of it, you know, more of a, I don't wanna say part model because it's not a part model, but just a more residential, I guess is the word to look there, that overhang and, and the big front cap. So four stab jacks on it. This unit uh, does have waste tanks. People ask that, does it have waste tanks? Yes, it does. So I don't know if you can see them or not, but it does have waste tanks underneath there. Outside speakers at the awning, big grab handle. It's even got a backup camera prep at the back. Don't imagine that'll be used very often, very often with a destination trailer, but hey, if you want to use it, you've got it. This is just trying to give you a, a view of all the corners. On this side, you've got a couple of things of note. Um, you can see your termination valves come right here. So you've got uh, probably, if I had to guess, um, a kitchen gray. You may have a uh, some type of gray for the a washer dryer setup, then a black, of course, for the toilet. But regardless, I usually like people pause this; they can see what they've got. Uh, if you're setting up for a big campsite permanently, you can tell what you've got going on there. 50 amp detachable power cord, outside showers here, our black tank flushes here, city water connection. So all of this is in between these two slides. And, and pretty well in the middle of the unit, which is convenient for most campsites. There's that access underneath the bed for storage. Got a larger water heater. I think it's a 10 gallon. I can look and tell you if I can get this off. But it is dual gas electric. And let's see, actually 12. So 12, 12 gallon dual um, gas electric water heater here on this unit, which is nice uh, for those longer stays. And plus with the 
Um, actually, the dry, the washer on this one might heat the water itself, so I better watch out. Sometimes washer dryers, you want a bigger um, hot water heater or water heater. So this is this side of the unit. Again, 2021, 38 DEN, I just say DEN, 38 DEN, Puma Destination Trailer by Palomino. It's a triple slide unit. Uh, definitely more residential in the features of it. We do have two airs, washer dryer, a bigger refrigerator, uh, three seating areas in the back. That's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. Click the link in the description for information or give me a call or text. Thank you all very much.